and Thursday morning, cooler temperatures working into the area. We have numbers running a good 10 to 15 degrees cooler than Wednesday morning. You can see Lima is 12 degrees cooler. We have 18 degree uh, drop in temperature for areas around Detroit this morning. It's about 17 degrees cooler in South Bend. So again, we had a cold front come through. That is good news because we look at temperatures this morning into the 60s, 65 in Lima. We have 67 in Columbus. And remember yesterday at this time, we had those numbers already well into the 70s. And part of uh, the factor that makes it feel more comfortable too is the dew point. It's nice and low. We're looking at dew points as we look at the dew points this morning down into the mid 50s, which is that in that pleasant category. So that's going to be some good news for us as we go throughout today and tomorrow. Very dry air in place and lots of sunshine. And again, not, not quite as intense with the heat as what we had back on Tuesday and of course yesterday. This morning, skies are nice and clear, and that's going to be the trend throughout the day. Get used to lots of sunshine because that's the story today and tomorrow. As we look at your day planner, temperatures around 80 degrees as we head towards noon. As we head into 4 o'clock, sunny skies, temperature 86. We notice that wind out of the north light around 5 to 10 miles per hour as we go throughout the day. Your high temperature 86 in Lima, about 87 as we head out towards Bluffton, 86 in Finley, 87 for Paulding this afternoon as well as Wampanoag. High pressures in charge, leaving us nice and dry with lots of sunshine. I know some rain would be kind of nice to see here because we are starting to get a bit of a deficit for the month of June. I've noticed uh, some of the lawns starting to turn a little bit brown and that is going to continue to be the case here as we're really just in this moisture starved pattern of lots of sunshine today as well as Friday. Not much change tomorrow. I think the temperature will be just a few degrees warmer on Friday as compared to today. And as we head into the weekend, we start to see some changes. Uh, temperatures are going to heat up again by Saturday with a south flow ahead of a cold front. I do think we'll go back into the lower 90s on Saturday afternoon. And as we head into Sunday, we do have a cold front moving in. And this is where we have at least a chance to see a couple showers or a thunderstorm. But we're calling it isolated at this point. Not everybody will get in on the rain, but there will be at least a chance as we head throughout today's Sunday and really going to depend on the timing of this front too, because if it can hold off and not come in until late in the day, we'll have enough time to bubble up enough uh, instability and that would up that chance a little bit to get some rain. But if that front tries to sneak in a little quicker, that could once again be a, a similar repeat of yesterday where the storms don't really get going until they push their way into the southern part of the state. So again, timing will kind of dictate too how numerous the showers will be, but we're thinking pretty isolated at this point. And then that will give us yet another drop in temperatures and another drop in humidity levels as we head into early next week. Here's the future precipitation and just to show you over the next seven days, there is not a lot out there. We see a lot of the moisture across the plain states. We see more moisture across parts of the southeast. But around here, uh, this is just one piece of guidance showing less than a tenth inch. Again, that's not going to do us really any good at this point as things will continue to quickly dry out. So kind of monitoring how fast things are drying out for us. As we look at the weekend in more detail, Temperatures up into the lower 90s by Saturday, and then on Sunday, we're still close to 90. Again, a couple showers or a thunderstorm will be possible. Also on Saturday, we do have a Johnny Appleseed Metro Park District, the big celebration out at Ottawa Metro Park. If you are heading out for that, it will be a hot day, but it does look like we will stay nice and dry for the big day here. So look at the seven day forecast. Again, those temperatures warming up into Saturday and then cooling down behind that cold front on Sunday. We will go back to around 80 by Monday and Tuesday. And as we head deeper on into next week, temperatures start to heat up again. But again, outside of Sunday, it looks like we'll have to do lots of watering for those gardens as the pattern stays mainly dry. You've probably been busy watering your flowers, I'm guessing. I was watering last night. Yeah, I'm thinking he didn't get any rain. Got to do it.